Hello, Sunday Joseph Adenuga here again to give you another round of blessing through the Word of God. This time around, I'm speaking to you on this topic, activating the power of prophecy. Activating the power of prophecy. Now, I start by giving you definitions. Prophecy is a divine utterance declaring the Word of God concerning somebody or a church or a nation. Prophecy is revealing the divine secrets of God for a man, a church, or a nation. Why do you need to activate prophecies? You need to activate prophecies because the devil will contend with every prophecy to cause it not to come to pass in your life. There are different forms of prophecy. There are written word of prophecy which are contained in the Bible. There are some prophet, Bible promises which are prophetic, which you can claim which rightly belongs to you. But these prophecies must come to pass if you learn the secret of activating prophecy. So at this moment, I just want to teach you the secrets of how to activate the good prophecies of God for your life. Either those prophecies that are contained in the Bible or those prophecies that are spoken to you by a prophet or by a man of God. How do you activate prophecy? Now, now before I tell you that, I just want you to know that history revealed to us that somebody prophesied in Egypt that a man will be born at a certain time by an Israelite who will save them or deliver the people of Israel out of the bondage of Egypt. This prophecy was received and believed. It was this prophecy that made Pharaoh to decree that every male child that is born to the people of Israel be killed and the female child should be saved alive because they wanted to block the activation of that prophecy. Pharaoh wanted to make sure that that prophecy did not see the light of day. But God has a way of making his word come to pass. Another thing I want you to know, that the prophecy about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ was well known to the devil. Because it has been spoken 2,000 years before he was born. Many, many thousands of years before Jesus Christ was born, prophecy about the birth of Jesus has been given. And so the devil tried every means to make sure that that prophecy did not come to pass. And so when Jesus Christ was born, the devil entered into Herod that every male child should be killed. But look at the wisdom of God in activating that prophecy. I want you to understand God's wisdom in the activation of the prophecy of Jesus by giving Joseph, the father of Jesus, the wisdom to run away from Israel to Egypt. So that the vision and the prophecy of the birth of Christ can be activated and fulfilled. Another prophecy I want you to look at is the prophecy that Israel will stay in Egypt for 400 years. God told Abraham, he said your descendants will be in Egypt for 400 years. That is a prophecy that must come to pass. But this prophecy was delayed by the devil and the people of Israel actually stayed in the land of Egypt for 430 years. Check the scriptures. Check the book of Genesis chapter 15, verses 13 and 14. You will see the prophecy. And check the fulfillment of that prophecy in Exodus chapter 12, verse 40 and 41. That tells you that the devil always planned to make prophecies that God spoke to your life not to come to pass. God told them they would spend 400 years in Egypt in the land of bondage. But they ended up spending 430 years. Devil made sure that he made the prophecy not to come to pass. Or if he could not make it not to come to pass, he, had, he said, I must make it to get longer. That's why you need to know how to, you know, how to how to activate the prophecies of God for your life. Every time you receive a good prophecy, you need to activate it into your life. How do you do it? Three ways. One, by prayer. 
Every prophecy that came to your life must be activated by prayer and through prayers. Secondly, you activate these prophecies by speaking words. Speaking them into your life. The Bible says, whatsoever you speak shall come to pass. The Bible says, whatsoever you say in my ear, God said that, I will do for you. Praise the Lord. You activate prophecies by, by acting it. By beginning to act as if those prophecies has already come to pass in your life. And so many other things. I'll come back to you again. The Lord be with you. Come back. I'm going to give you part two of this. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Once again, my name is Sunday Joseph Adeninga. The pastor of Success Dimension Church. Okay, to know about on Nigeria. You can visit me on the website. www.successdimensionchurch.blogspot.com or the work the word works dot co dot cc god bless you you can phone me at plus two three four eight zero five four zero four one four six two it is well with you thank you let me pray with you father in the name of jesus let your power come upon this listener let your glory overshadow his life let the power of God begin a new thing now in his life. In Jesus' name. Good. You are healed. Any disease in your body, I command it to vamoose now. Be healed. Receive your healing now. Now. In Jesus' name. Amen. It is well with you.